सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली ऑल दो बैंड इन मोस्ट कंट्रीज अक्रॉस दर्ल्ड फॉर रिक्रिएशनल यूज साइकोडेलिक ड्रग्स आर बींग इंक्रीजिंगली सीन एज पोटेंशियल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर सिवियर डिप्रेशन एंड एंगजाइटी as well as alcohol addiction and other conditions these drugs cause psychological visual and auditory changes and often a substantially altered state of consciousness such an experience is known as a psychedelic trip some scientists believe that these trips which are hallucinations and profound emotional experiences is what leads to long lasting therapeutic effects However, a team of researchers in the US have been working on creating a drug that can have the same therapeutic effects of psychedelic drugs but eliminate the trip that people experience from such drugs. In this episode, I talk about a new compound that may help alleviate depression and how researchers used animal models to show that their compound triggers the same receptors in the brain as psychedelic drugs. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Psychedelic compounds bind to brain receptors known as serotonin 5-HT2A on the surface of specific neurons which in turn modulate the activity of key circuits in the brain involved in sensory perception and cognition. In a research study published in the journal Nature, a team showed that it is possible to create a compound that hits the same exact target as psychedelic drugs hit but does not cause the same psychedelic effects when given to mice. The new compound also triggers the same antidepressant action that researchers have long observed in mice treated with such drugs over the past two decades. In fact, the new compound has an immediate antidepressant action and long lasting effect after just one dose the researchers including those from university of north carolina were very surprised that the compound had antidepressant activity similar to ketamine and psilocybin both of which are rapidly acting antidepressant psychedelic drugs the team was initially running a chemistry experiment to see if they could create a compound to activate 5-HT2A once this was achieved the team patented the drug and Onsero a US based company created a fine tuned experimental compound for further tests in clinical trials The team will now try to find out if the same effects will be replicating in humans. The hope is to create a one dose long acting therapy to help people with treatment resistant depression and other mental health conditions. When someone eats a magic mushroom, the active ingredient psilocin binds tightly to the 5-HT2A serotonin receptors on the surface of neurons. The receptor is activated for a long time. triggering a cascade of chemical signals inside cells these cells then communicate to other cells throughout the brain sending the person on a long strange hallucinogenic trip for hours for those who are treatment resistant psychedelic drugs can immediately alleviate depression and the effect lasts for many months ketamine used medically as an anesthetic also has become a tool against severe depression In 2019 the US FDA approved a prescription version of ketamine administered through a nasal spray. Use of this drug requires supervision of a medical professional and is very expensive. Ayahuasca, a brew that includes two psychoactive plants, also shows antidepressant effects in uncontrolled clinical studies. It is illegal in the US as is one of its active ingredients known as DMT. According to the team these drugs would be difficult to scale up to help the millions of people who are in need of them moreover these drugs and others can drastically change brain chemistry and carry certain risks 
An individual's experience with these drugs can vary and sometimes be harrowing despite coming out the other side feeling cured of depression, severe anxiety or addiction. A class of antidepressant drugs called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs modulate serotonin signaling indirectly and not in the same way as psychedelic drugs do. SSRIs also enhance levels of serotonin, often called the happiness hormone in cells throughout the body, which is likely one of the reasons why these drugs can cause a wide range of unpleasant side effects. Although SSRIs lead to the immediate increase in serotonin in the brain, people who take these drugs do not typically report feeling the antidepressant until many weeks later. This, according to the team, means that treating depression is more than just raising serotonin levels to treat it. SSRIs cause changes in the brain that lead to antidepressive action. However, scientists do not yet know exactly how this happens. The team thought that they could create a compound that selectively hits the 5-HT2A receptor but activates it in a way that alters brain chemistry to treat depression, leaving the trippy pathway alone while avoiding the side effects associated with SSRIs. The full project took seven years, with researchers first decoding the complex chemical structure of serotonin receptors, including what they look like when the psychedelic compound is tightly bound to them. Eventually, in 2020, with researchers from the Yale University, the team developed a sequence of reactions that could theoretically lead to the creation of billions of new compounds with slightly different chemical structures. To develop the antidepressant drug they had in mind, the team focused on chemical reactions for the synthesis of tetrahydropyridines or THPs, which occur in nature and are the basic building blocks of many medical compounds. They then used computational simulations to zero in on the specific THP-based compounds most likely to only bind to 5-HT2A in a specific way on certain neurons. This had to be done in a way that the drug binds to the receptors without triggering the dramatic psychedelic trips. Then, the team selected and tested several actual compounds to see how they bind to the serotonin receptors in cell cultures in the lab. This part also took years. Receptors are complex and delicate bunches of perfectly situated proteins. To be able to observe a compound's effect on them in is a laborious process involving various experimental techniques including X-ray crystallography. With each experiment, the team learned more nuances about the compound's relationship to the 5H2A receptor. Using what they learned, they tweaked their computational chemical design to create yet another virtual compound, which they then created in the lab. This process yielded a few compounds promising enough to test in a mouse model, essentially to see if the compounds bound to 5-HT2A in an animal the same way as it did in a lab dish. The team then found that the compound not only bound to 5-HT2A serotonin receptor in mice, it also had the same antidepressant drug action as ketamine without the hallucinogenic drug action. While researchers can't really know for sure if the mice were depressed or hallucinating, they can study the drug action, which is the biological effect in mice and then observe behaviours. For decades, researchers have used standard tests like forced swim tests, tailed suspension tests, novel suppressed feeding uh, when testing the action of compounds. Likewise, researchers have used standard mouse models of psychoactive drug action, models that have been validated over many decades. Mice behave in a specific ways when given a hallucinogenic drug, sort of like humans behave in certain ways when tripping. When researchers gave mice the new compound, the research team observed the same antidepressant drug action without the same psychoactive drug action. Whether this drug or others like it can truly provide a one-dose, long-lasting antidepressant effect for people with treatment-resistant depression, severe anxiety and other conditions is yet to be determined. But this research shows that it may actually be possible. This is Mohana Basu assistant editor at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. 
You can do so through the link in the description box below.